Speaking of health, our local Blue Cross Blue Shield Biggest Loser contestants are now in week eight. They've already made some pretty impressive losses. Aronda Walker shows us how they've been able to make so much progress and how you can do it too. But the Biggest Loser contestants will tell you the key to their success is to keep moving and also what they're eating. But I had to ask, who's in the lead, the guys or the girls? It's the ladies by six and a half pounds this week. They don't call it the Biggest Loser Challenge for nothing. This challenge, a push off between Ryan and James to see who I would interview today. And a minute in, I got 47. 47. But how many could James do before the contest? James, eight weeks ago, I would say probably four or five. Once a week, they weigh in and sit down with their Blue Cross Blue Shield health coach teachers. James was 20 pounds heavier, a couch potato with horrible eating habits. Before, it was a lot of what's not too bad for me and to try not to eat that instead of thinking of what's good for me. Bacon double cheeseburgers and chili cheese fries for breakfast to um, egg white and spinach omelet. <laughs> So it's a taste for you. Great. They are all learning how to eat healthier. Definitely fruits and vegetables. I always say they're nature's fast food. I have a bag, a one pound bag of baby carrots that goes with me just about everywhere. Helen has lost 10 pounds so far. Inches have been actually more impressive for me. So my clothes are fitting better. People are noticing. Their advice to folks at home? Making small little changes daily that you know that you can do. Starting with move more, eat less. For those living like James was, his message website. is more direct. Get up and move, because if you don't get up and move, you will die. From Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, Rhonda Walker, Local 4.